Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we got a service call for a split system water cold refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Here we have a refrigeration rack. This is a water cold system. As you can see here we have our water regulating valves. Here's our condensing units. I know from the past that this one is out of use. We have three here. This one's running. It's a very strange setup. They got these crazy relays here. I have no idea what that's about. Here are the defrost clocks. They got rid of these. <laughs> I just mounted one of those. I mean, this whole thing is a hack job. Let's see what's going on. Warm, do not use. Just make sure are running one two fans are running thermostat looks like the thermostat is set to 80 <laughs> is that real it was set to 80 guys so let's go ahead and Go downstairs and see what's going on now. Set it to 35. All right, so that was the middle refrigerator. As you can see, fan motor started. Seems to be a custom conversion. That's the water cool condenser. Compressor started. Suction line is somewhat cool. Is this the easiest service call in history? <laughs> I set it to 80 degrees. You set it to 80, I mean, you can't really expect the box to be cold. Let's go ahead and give this some time. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. I have my wireless probes on this circuit. And check the pressures. 25 PSI on the low side but 237 about 238 on the high side and this is it says r12 on the compressor so it must be the replacement 134a and 238 is very high this is giving me an indication that condenser is either dirty or our strainer is dirty what's interesting is that there is no strainer. Hold on. Where is this water coming in from? Coming from above. Is there really no strainer here? So that's the pipe coming up. Take a closer look over here. Alright, so there is no strainer for this circuit. This is the water regulating valve. I did make a video on that. I will link that in the description. If we look at the spring, the spring is pushed all the way down. As you see, we have like a bit of a clearance from above. So that's gonna restrict the water flow and therefore increase our head pressure. So this might be set up for winter. So let's go ahead and adjust this spring. Let's bring that spring up. By adjusting that spring, should get a lower head pressure so let's see if that helps this magneto pro pack and of course my wrench is missing awesome <laughs> but pretty much i'm just gonna adjust this right here and we're gonna bring that spring up i'm just gonna take my little adjustable give it multiple turns Guys, look at that head pressure. From 238 to below 200, we're about at 183. And dropping, our back pressure dropped off 5 PSI, so we're definitely gonna get colder temperatures in there. Let's go ahead and give this some time and check temps. All right, so far we're at 51 degrees. Temperatures are coming down. Everything is looking pretty good. Guys, this Milwaukee M12 light is amazing this cordless light the other one i had the drop light got lost but i got this one now love the magnet back there this thing is awesome 
definitely got some good light. So as far as our pressures, we have a 17.7 PSIG on the low side and 187.5 on the high side. As far as the high side, that's a big difference compared to the 238 pressure. So that definitely brought down the pressures in the system. So that's gonna give us better temperatures inside the box and at the same time put less stress on the compressor unfortunately there is no strainer on these lines i'm definitely going to recommend they have that you definitely want to protect this water loop these water regulating valves look bad but they are working temperatures in the box are looking good and it was pretty much as simple as that a thermostat was not set correctly and our water regulating valve needed to be adjusted accordingly and yeah it's going to give this a little bit more time make sure that we satisfy at the correct temperature and that was all for this one if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time